central Berlin, July 23rd at 10.40 a.m. A man and a woman are held at gunpoint and forced into a car. Witnesses inform the police. The man who was kidnapped is Trinh Suan Tan, a business executive from Vietnam and former leading member of the Communist Party. He had applied for asylum in Germany. His German lawyer had seen a lot during her many years in the business, but she was still stunned by Tan's case. I've never seen a case where a foreign government kidnapped one of their own citizens in broad daylight in central Berlin in full view of the German government. The German foreign ministry believes Vietnam's communist leadership ordered Tan to be taken away. And sources say the kidnapping may have been carried out by employees of its Berlin embassy. Last month, Tan's case was discussed at the G20 summit in Hamburg, and now he has been kidnapped. The German government is furious and has threatened drastic consequences. German-Vietnamese relations have hit a low point. The kidnapping of Vietnamese citizen Trinh Suan Tan on German soil is an unprecedented and serious crime against German law and international law. The government of Vietnam sees the situation as a very big misunderstanding and regrets the German reaction. It believes that Tan is a corrupt businessman and says he's now given himself up, according to a spokeswoman for the foreign ministry. Vietnamese state television has now broadcast a statement by Tan echoing the ministry. He admits he went underground in Germany and says he regrets fleeing. During my escape, I wasn't thinking maturely and decided to hide. And during that time, I realised I need to return to face the truth and especially my superiors. I should face them to tell them that I'm aware of my mistakes and apologise. My family also supports my decision to turn myself in. Tanzlo believes he's a victim of an internal Communist Party power struggle and she's afraid that her client is in danger of receiving the death sentence in Vietnam.